My name is Osain Nyako Emmanuel, Public Relations Director of the Amunos Choral, but you can always call me one whom Jesus loves. And I'm here with the <coughs> beautiful Amanda Ifua Abrokwa as my <laughs> co-host. And Amanda, it's so lovely to see you today. It's very good to see you too. Yes, and straight on to some acknowledgments. Thank you, <laughs> Margin Ghana Limited, for yes. this beautiful shirt. <laughs> Ebefa Onyame Akasa. 2020 Ebefa Onyame <laughs> Akasa. It is set for 2020. Look, it doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't matter what um, is surround, um, surround, what surrounds us. It doesn't matter whether there is corona or no corona, whether there has been distraction or not. Whatever God has said to you concerning your life, 2020, it will come to pass. Amen. Amen. Akasa. So Amanda, today we are here once again. Yeah. Um, last week was very powerful. It was. Talking about the character of Elijah, a character mm. steady on Elijah and it was so big sad that we couldn't exhaust everything no. <laughs> and hopefully today we are going to um, continue with that. Last week we saw how Elijah was one man who stood for what was right, who only allowed himself to be corrupted by events of the day, who prayed and declared that there shouldn't be rain and there was no rain and mm. we read from the book of James that Elijah was a man with like passion he was just like us if he prayed that there shouldn't be rain and there was no rain we can also pray to god amen any and every situation amen. and god will come in. Amen. if there is a man to pray there is a god there is a god to answer to answer so we just want to quickly go into what we have for today we are continuing okay. with elijah okay. but before that let me leave you to say a few words well, I'm only excited about okay. today because Elijah is actually my favorite book of all time. I mean, my favorite, favorite, favorite book of all time. It speaks about faith, resilience, um, um, absolute confidence in the God that we serve. And every song in that book is biblical. It comes with um, something. And at the end of the song, you see the greatness of God. At the end of the oratory itself, you see the greatness of God and his merciful, um, he's merciful, ever present, ever willing to bring us back to his love all the time. So I'm excited about today and a belated happy birthday to you. Where is the cake? Cake, cake. Where is it? It should be here you somewhere. Guys, you guys, you guys said you're going to surprise me today on set. And I came here and the place, guys, the place has to dry or something. And last week I mentioned my mobile money account <laughs> and my whatever thing so that whether you are out of the house, I'm not sure if you're in the bed, 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 I'm not sure if you're
Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so How much. did it go? How did the celebration go? Uh, um, it was very unusual. Mm. Uh, like I said, um, I was at some place and um, mm. I had to do some things to yeah. get some things done. And yeah. Some people plan evil against us. But then we have to, we have to <laughs> let the, the, the courts uh, um, uh, uh, take its course. So yeah. I spent my whole day virtually doing that. Yeah. We still go again. But the week ended on a very good note. Yes. <laughs> No, but I bet fine in no time. So let's go remind um, our listeners where we stopped last week. Yes, we so last week, them. Uh, we, are, we are going to take you to what I, I call showdown on Mount Carmel. <laughs> yes. Uh, so Elijah at this moment is calling, is telling the prophet of Baal that they should cry to their God mm. for them to call, for him to call fire to come and burn a sacrifice. And whoever is able to do that, either the prophet of Baal or Elijah himself, that God is a God. Mm. Mm -hmm. And look, the people of um, Israel, the prophets, um, so to speak, they were in, in the local palace account, they said they were come chain. Oh, come chain, come chain. They were crazy. Yes. And like I was saying, call him louder, call him louder, he hear it not. Probably he's on a journey or something, <laughs> or maybe he's WhatsApping uh, his, his colleagues to. <laughs> To solicit your help, so he told him loud that cut yourselves after your manner. Mm -hmm. Look, do whatever thing you know how to do, and call on your false prophets and see whether they will answer. Mm. So let's go and take that. We will come back, discuss what happened, and then zoom on to the rest of the program. Let's enjoy this worship. We'll be right back.
I have done this. 
just join us. This is the Weekend Worship with Harmonious Coral coming to you live from the studios of Divine Media HD. And just come by a series of uh, music from the Harmonious Coral. Elijah was the oratorio composed by Felix Mendelssohn and we had this at the National Theatre of Ghana in 2003. And at this scene we, we saw Elijah challenging the prophet of Baal to a contest where <laughs> the one to call down fire from heaven 
That is the God we are going to serve. But we all know the story that Elijah's God answered by fire. The fire descended from heaven and it consumed the sacrifice, the wood, the altar, everything. It's not a <coughs> word like a hammer that breaks the rock. That's the question to you and I. But we always know the answer. Yes, God's word is able to divide between spirit and soul, bone and marrow. And whatever situation that you are in, God's word is able to intervene. Amen. Um, Amanda, <laughs> any comment before we go? Now the showdown is, is yes, down. It's down. It has been established. Yeah. The deal has been done. Yeah. Okay. So whoever's God answers, mm. let him be God. Yeah. Our God has answered it. So he's now God. Sure. I like, I like the fact that, you know, throughout the book, I like the fact that at every scene, the Israelites were present. And at a point, I was confused because there were the same people singing <laughs> Bill's praises yeah. and they were singing the other side also. So yeah. uh, they were there. They agreed. Okay, we have heard. Now the contest is over. He has won them over. Is that how it is? <laughs> not, not completely so because, mm -hmm. you see, um, during the course of the event, mm -hmm. as um, Nordesin puts the whole mm -hmm. thing together, there was someone who stood up to challenge Elijah. Mm -hmm. And it will, it will come to think of it, Elijah has been able to do these wonders. I mean, he prayed, shut the heavens, three and a half years, no rain, no dew, no water from the heavens or even the earth. Everything was dry. He was able to do this. And as we go along, we realize that there was this spirit. I called that person spirit and not just a person because mm. it lived on to even do things after Elijah was passed. You know, Jezebel came <laughs> into the scene. And the flip side of Jezebel was that she was so solidly behind <laughs> the, the husband. husband. <laughs> the flip side. So uh, if, if you're going to get this kind of partnership in marriages, I tell you, you can achieve anything. anything. She didn't care strongly. whatever was no, happening. We, we will see it uh, as we go on. And she seemed like a very powerful lady, yes. a very, very powerful yes. woman. Yes. Mm. And it says, who is Elijah? <laughs> Whose word is mightier, and mightier than, than my king. husband, the hey. king? But Ahab had Ahab succumbed already, or it took Jezebel to say, "Hey, boss, oh, wake I, up." I, I believe Ahab was mellowing. You yeah. Know? By the time when he read the scriptures, um, when Elijah prayed and uh, the waters were coming, mm. God gave Elijah even divine speed to accelerate the chariot of Ahab. So mm -hmm. Ahab was going home. Mm -hmm. Now, by the time he got home, Jezebel <laughs> had heard the news that look, all your prophets <laughs> of Baal, uh, they had been they have shattered them. Yes. <laughs> so it tells you that she had gotten the message, but even though it was raining, no, she still found a way to accuse Elijah, as the story tells us um, deliberate to accuse Elijah and said it was Elijah. Mm who had shut the heavens. Mm. He's the one. He's the one. He's, he's, he's accused. Mm -hmm. And he's the one who has spoken against Israel. Mm -hmm. He's the one who has spoken against the king. So using those political uh, powers and influence, he was trying to come against Elijah. And I tell you, it wasn't easy. <laughs> and man, why man, had he spoken in the name of the Lord? Yes, the man who <laughs> fire from heaven. <laughs> We'll get to that. Ah, no, to that. The power to that. of a woman. <laughs> Women are strong, man. <laughs> so our next batch of songs, you're going to listen to songs like Woe Unto Them Who mm. Forsake Him. So that is what um, we are admonishing you. It says, O man of God, O the Lord, thou hast overthrown thy enemies. And then we do thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. He liveth the thirsty land. Uh, that, that song is so, so, so powerful. So let's go and take our next video. We'll be right back. But before we do that, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share this link. Share this video to your friends and family. Let's all enjoy the worship as we discuss Elijah in the Bible. We'll be right back. Enjoy this worship.
Welcome back to the studios of Divine Media HD. This is the weekend worship with the Harmonious Choral. My name is Amanda Efuabrokwa, and I'm more than honored to be co-hosting alongside my boss, Emmanuel Osanyako. From last week up until now, we have tried to discuss the character study of Elijah, one of the major prophets um, who came um, to Israel. And we have, from last week, we have looked at the troubled times where he declared there will be no rain, the challenges he faced, um, the miracles that happened, the fire coming down from heaven to consume and lick everything that was on that altar. Now, in this, um, the music we just listened to, now everything was settled. He had to call back the rain. Yeah. <laughs> and he was getting frustrated, like, God, really? At this point, you want to embarrass me? Everything that you have done with me, you want to finally embarrass me now that I've gotten the people to believe in my God and he was very frustrated yeah. and then he prayed and he called and I like that line have respect <laughs> have respect for the prayer of the of, 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 of your prophet and then the rain finally comes down and thanks be to God he lived in the thirsty land yeah. beautiful beautiful episode powerful. very very powerful 
but when 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 I go through from the, from um, the beginning up until now, we are not done. We are halfway through it. From the beginning up until now, I feel like um, we can personalize it in so many ways. Yeah. Um, y yours may not be that you don't have water, you don't have rain. Yours might be that your drought might be different. Um, you may be facing the drought of no money or no, um, no family now, yeah. no work. Some of them is very personal, no patience. You, ha you lack time. You so many ways. People are facing, in fact, we are all facing drought in certain aspects of our lives. If only you will trust. If only you will be steadfast. If only you will allow God to use this drought period to reveal his greatness, just not un unto you, mm -hmm. but unto even people around you. Yeah. Your, your, your light will shine forth. Like, he will provide. Yeah. He will provide whatever droughts that you are going through. The rains will come down in no time. Yeah. It took Israel three and a half years, mm -hmm. but eventually the rains came down. I believe strongly in my spirit that somebody is watching us and the person feels like it is the end of the road for the person. Suicide is not the option. It, 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 it is from the, from the pit of hell. Don't end your life because you don't know what is ahead of you. You don't know what God has prepared for you. We've heard these lines so many times that ebefa, ebefa, it is, and it is not happening. And you feel so stagnant. Your mates are getting married. Your mates who have married just three days ago, she's pregnant and she has given birth and your mate is driving a car and you are not. It feels like it's over for you. As a lady or as a man, you are 30, you are 32, you are 34. Nothing is working for you. Your family members almost feel like they've wasted money sending you to school. It took Israel three and a half years, but eventually the, waters, the rains came down. And it was huge. That is how God celebrates his, his chosen ones. When he's celebrating you, he doesn't do a party for 20 people in a corner. He puts you on a hill for everybody to see, for people to talk like, is this not Emmanuel? That guy who had no, at one point, who was not even feeding once a day, who couldn't even feed once a day. Is that Emmanuel's car pack that KFC ordering chicken for Amanda after the program? <laughs> So you see, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. That's true. That, mm. Those are powerful uh, statements yeah. you've, you've made um, right there. And you, you did even say that uh, people want, some people watching us now, you, you feel like you want to end your life. Well, let me give you, um, I don't want to say words of assurance or something, but I actually want to say that ending your life is not the end of life. Mm -mm. So allow the give of life to step in. You, you can't end your life mm. because there is life after this. Mm. Someone said um, energy can, can neither be created nor destroyed. So you, you can't end your life because there is life after this. So if you are going through any challenge that you feel that God has forsaken you, I want you to hear this. Mm. Hear this. God has not forsaken you. His word said that I will never ever leave you. I will never ever forsake you. Hear ye Israel, hear what, what the Lord speaketh. Be not afraid. Don't take my words for it. Take God's word for it. Amen. And let the next set of songs minister to you. Be not afraid. Hear ye Israel, hear what the Lord speaketh. Be not afraid. Let's enjoy this worship. We will be right back.
be not afraid. Not said by Osain Nyakumanyo <laughs> or Amanda Ifwa Abroko. <laughs> be not afraid, mm. said God the Lord. Amanda, and the interesting thing about this is that in the scriptures, the phrase do not be afraid or be not afraid occurs some 365 times. times. Each as for a day. Oh, God is telling us each and every day of our lives mm. that be not afraid. Mm. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Someone define fear as false evidence appearing real. <laughs> That's powerful. False evidence <laughs> appearing real. That is powerful. Oh. Yes, the situation, we, 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 we say these things not to, how should I put it? Not to talk less of the situation or not to say the situation that we find ourselves in that does not exist, that people are losing their jobs because of this corona pandemic, that homes are crashing because the source of income is wiped off. It is real. But God said, be not afraid. Because he's the one who was, mm. who is, Amen. and is to come. Amen. He's the God of yesterday, Amen. today, and tomorrow. He's the so, God when you, you had plenty, Yes. and he's the same God. This same persistent, don't be afraid, because mm. I hold the keys to the future. Amen. I can see your future. Amen. My thoughts for you are not like your thoughts. Amen. They are far above you. Amen. Trust Him. Mm. And once you completely trust God, when His love for you replaces the fear, you are going to experience God's best for you. Amen. And I believe that God always has a plan. Yeah. <clears throat> and I love the fact that whenever He told somebody to move somewhere, mm. He had gone ahead of the place yeah. and prepared the place. Yeah. He told Abraham to move. Yeah. He had already gone to the other side to check. He told Elijah, get thee up and go to Zarephath. There I have the carriage brook. Go to the widow's house. He had prepared ahead of it. So when the Lord, sometimes, sometimes I feel like when we are in certain positions, we become too comfortable over there. Meanwhile, we have so much that we can exude. And he takes certain little things out of our hands so that our hands can be free to receive the bigger things. He always has a plan, and, and, unless you don't trust it. Yeah. So whatever it is, wherever you find yourself, you might know you went to um, um, tech. Tech. You attended. You attended tech, and you studied agriculture. Yeah. But what you're doing currently has <laughs> absolutely nothing to do with agriculture. I mean, look at God. So he has bigger plans yes. for you, whatever it is yeah. that you think that you're going through. And, and yes. we bless God for that. Yes, um, and that reminds uh, me of uh, a comment that came in. We'll read all your comments, but we just want to address this one. Um, it came from YouTube, and this is by Emmanuel Udo. Or Udo, probably you're a Nigerian. Yes. So you're asking for the meaning of Ebefa, hashtag Ebefa. <laughs> if I were you. Anything I do on this planet, anything I post online, I'll add the hashtag ever. <laughs> because when I explain it to you, you will understand that, hey, it's a powerful statement. It is. And below it, you can see Onyame Akasa. So how best should I explain this to um, a friend in Nigeria? Ebefa means, simply means, you go happy. You <laughs> go happy. Ah, sharp. And let's put it in the proper context. Onyame Akasa means God talk up. <laughs> now God talk up, see, it go happen. It go happen. So it go happen. That's no, all. Whatever good thing God has said about you, mm. Emmanuel Udo, Udo, God says it will happen. Amen. So it will happen. Amen. And this reminds me, a few hours ago, um, today I was ministering at church, I was preaching, mm. and the message God gave to us at church is that God says I will. Mm. God says I will. It's interesting how this, this is just fitted in. Amen. God says, I will. I will. When he wanted to make a covenant with, with, with us, he chose Abraham. Abraham did not know God. <laughs> it was God's own way. He says, I will. Abraham, move from your <clears throat> father's house. You just mentioned it. Move from my father's house. Go to a land that I will show you. And I will make you and I your will. descendants occupy this mm. land. The time that God told us to do something, we couldn't do it. 
when he said that shall not have any other god before me we couldn't do it <laughs> that shall not commit adultery we couldn't do it <laughs> all the ten things that he said we shouldn't do and the one that he said we should do love the lord with all your heart we couldn't do it so when it becomes our work we couldn't do it god himself sent jesus to fulfill it so because of that he now said that a time is coming that I will make peace with my people. I will put my laws in their hearts. Amen. I will, I will, I, I will. will. So when you are searching through the scriptures and the promises and the covenant of God, look out for what God says, he will. And if he says he will, he will do it. God is not a man that he Amen. should lie. So, Ebefa, Onyame Akasa, God to come, it will happen. It just will happen. So it just will happen. <laughs> <laughs> it will happen. For some of us next we are we, we are seeing we are seeing mm, it. It is happening. Yeah, it is happening. Ah, yeah, it, is happening. it is ongoing. It is ongoing. <laughs> so if you if you see this um, beautiful thing, let's give another shout out to uh, Margin Ghana. So Margin Ghana deals with all your branding and your design work, creative designs and branding. That's um, car branding. Um, call cards whatever branding solution that you need whatever design solution that you need you can contact margin ghana on 024 347 7039 and my earrings as usual from season one to now has been <laughs> has been graciously given to me by Treble Blinks. Follow them on Instagram and on Facebook, Treble Blinks, or call them on 0247 422 328. 0247 422 328. So, that moment that we have been waiting for is here. You know, Elijah is now flying high. Oh, he, has, he has done a lot of things. And sometimes we find ourselves um, in those situations when everything seems to be going so so well everything is going so well for us that is when the that's the comfort to, zone the devil wants to attack mm. and you see he attacks with accusation mm. and all these accusations are false accusation yeah. because he's trying to use your past yeah. against you mm. he's trying to tell you that the blood of jesus christ is not able to do all these things so he starts calling your sins against you and all those things but you should be resolute mm -hmm. and i thank god for the life of Elijah, that God intervened in his situation. Hmm. Even so, Elijah. Yes, Elijah. <laughs> so God intervened in his situation. So the, the next piece of songs we're going to listen to is The Lord Hath Exalted Thee. And here Elijah is talking to Ahab. The king. Look, out of all the people in Israel, God chose you. Yet what did you do? Hmm. You succumbed to the prophet of Baal. Hmm. You listened to the, the, the false ways. And then Jezebel came in and said, Have ye not heard he speak against Ahab? <laughs> Have you not heard that Elijah is speaking against Ahab? And the Bible, yes, he, he, he shall perish. Mm. Yes, he is guilty. Mm. So they were accusing Elijah falsely mm. of all these things. But the heart of Elijah, or the purpose of Elijah, was to turn the heart of the people back, back to, God. to God. Woe to me. Woe to him. He shall perish. Woe to him. Now, if, if Jezebel is issuing threats, mm. and, let, and, let's, and let's tell you, these threats, look, people ask that, why is it that Elijah run away from this <laughs> on the surface you would think the threat was not wasn't real mm. it was a real threat mm. it was real she meant every word of yes it. it says if by tomorrow mm. elijah's head is not brought to me mm. let me let, let's 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 get, catch this revelation and see why it's real we know that this didn't happen to mm. elijah mm. but we know years later many generations later early early on i did say that yeah. Jezebel is a spirit mm. it's a de demonic spirit Okay, Elion, he made a statement, but later in those generations to come, there was a man who came in the spirit of Elijah, mm -hmm. and his name is John, John the Baptist. Baptist. Mm -hmm. Now, he was walking in the spirit of Elijah. So, if you are walking in the spirit of Elijah, you probably do what Elijah did. Mm -hmm. So, his way, his, his aim was to prepare the way for the Lord, to turn the hearts of the fathers back unto God. That was his mission. He was living in the wilderness, just like Elijah. Okay. Now, if you are operating in the spirit of Elijah, then you should expect that the spirit that was trying to kill Elijah for his office. Mm -hmm. And that spirit activated in the life of the wife of the king. Of the king. Such, oh. a, such that oh. when 
John the Baptist was in prison. Yeah. And um, one way or the other, the king requested that the daughter ask him of anything, anything. that he, she could ever think of, even up to half of, of the his kingdom. kingdom. Because the daughter danced so well, the daughter consulted the mom, hmm. and he was, she was like, as for the head of John the Baptist. <laughs> out of everything you can think of. Of all the things she could have thought of. And rightly so, John the Baptist was, was beheaded. beheaded. The man who was walking in the spirit of Elijah. So if the threat to Elijah wasn't real, so just like many of us, once we see it, we go up, we run away, <laughs> we go and hide in fear. Then instead of us to fall back on God, we start to depend on ourselves again. God, it's enough. It is enough, Elijah said. I have saved you. I have not bowed down to the prophets of Baal and their gods. I have saved you diligently. It is enough. Like I thought he was the only one. <laughs> God said, yes, you, you have done these things, but please note. But, but Emmanuel, Elijah is a very powerful man yes. by all standards. But I like the word you what? Say, man. <laughs> 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 by all standards. Why, why do you think it was the words of Jezebel that could push Elijah to that, to the extent of him calling God to end his life, like to run away. It just it was just a woman. He has stood in the presence of the, the mighty prophets of Baal, and he has dared them to a challenge. And he has stood in the presence of the king, the highest authority of the land. Why a woman? Why Jezebel? If Jezebel could do that, and it tells you that Jezebel, even though she didn't have power, she had influence. She was so influential in that day. Her father was a king, yes. actually. Remember, there was another story where Ahab the king wanted a parcel of land that belonged to someone else so that he would plant a vineyard. And he was going to buy it, and the, the owner said, No. He was troubled. Now, Jezebel comes and said, What troubles my king? Ahab narrated the story. And then Jezebel said, don't worry, I'll sort it out for you. <laughs> she goes and makes sure that that person dies, mm. and she gets the land to, or for the husband. Mm. So it tells you this, this woman was very, very influential. <laughs> so like I was saying, the threat was real. Mm. So then Elijah thought that, look, it's enough. I've done all these things for God. But God said, look, I actually, I have 7,000 people who have supported me. Mm. They have not bowed down. He has raised up a mighty yes. army. Yes. So these are the next songs that we are going to um, 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 use for our worship. The last but three says, see now he sleepeth. When the ladder even slept, God woke him up and said, look, eat this food for the journey that you have ahead of you. is is very long. Lift thine eyes to the mountains where comes help. That is where your help comes from. Your help comes from the Lord. Let's enjoy this worship. We'll be right back. from among the people and all his people Israel hath made the king but thou Ahab hast not evil to provoke him to anger above all that were before thee sweet it hath been a light thing for thee to walk in the saints of Jeroboam Thou hast made a grove and an altar to build and set and worship him. Thou hast killed the righteous and also taken possession. And the Lord shall smite all Israel as a reed is shaken in the water. And he shall Israel, oh, and thou shalt talk. Have you not heard? Heard he hath prophesied against all Israel. Hath he not prophesied also against the 
Welcome back to the studios of Divine Media HD. If you just joined us, this is the weekend worship with the Harmonious Choral. And from last week up until this time, we have been discussing and reliving the moment when the Harmonious Choral performed Mendelssohn's Elijah. And what a better time than to bring the main character in 2013, Eli who played Elijah himself. Um, we are blessed to be joined by Kennedy Dodu Dankwa, who is also the technical director at the Harmonious Choral. Hello, Kennedy. Good afternoon. And how are you doing? Hello. Good afternoon to our cherished listeners and the viewers. I'm doing well, very well. Yes. Well, thank you for asking. We are all doing well. Thank you for uh, finding time out of your schedule to join us. Um, we have been reliving the moments when we performed Elijah in 2013. T tell me a little that you remember. Um, happening around that time? Um, at the time, wow, <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> um, we, we had just um, finished doing Messiah, and for us as a choir, um, 
we, we thought we would really challenge ourselves. Um, in fact, we, we, we have started doing some very good stuff, I mean, in terms of uh, our repertoire and everything. But Elijah was, was another level, was another level. So really was good, it was good. So um, James, by all means, called you and said, look, I want you to play this role. <laughs> and it, 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 uh, even me that I, uh, I wasn't Elijah, I felt it was a big, a great responsibility on you because um, at that time, every eye will be on you. You would have to bring the character out for people to see because um, oratorio those days were not, was not major um, in, in Ghana. How big or how huge of the responsibility was it on you? And how, how much pressure was on your head at that time? Well, Amanda, it was, it was so great. I mean, the, the pressure was just so, so you, you're carrying, I mean, everything of the choir on your shoulders. And so for me, when um, the boss called me, and said, uh, Ken, you're playing the role. It was like, whoa, this is big. This is big because the, the first point is trying to get, I mean, in, into this character, okay? It is one thing getting the role all right, but you also get into character to be able to play the role well. So it was, it was really huge. I mean, trying to commit your lines, um, to memory, and then also combining it with the act. It, it, was, it was just so much. I mean, the pressure was, was almost. So, what, as, as the main character, I mean, you may have read the scripture um, so that you can put yourself into the character. The book of Elijah, um, on the biblical side, the spiritual side, how do you, how do you understand it and has it in any way helped um, helped you spiritually in your daily life because it, it carries a lot of content yeah that, 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 that's very true i mean we, we, we have seen um, um hiding writing creation and looking in the eyes of a child okay if god said let there be this there would be okay he was calling the being who they were. So for a child, if you had, I would a child is believing. Okay, that, that was what I then did with creation. But if you look at Elijah, now Mendelssohn was looking at um, the story of Elijah and Elijah in of the believer, the ice believer, that if you believe in this God so much, then you don't have to be afraid. You should even put on um, some sort of and also some attitude. I tell you, Elijah was a was a man with you because if you could call the prophets of Baal, I mean, to contest and all of that, mm -hmm. really you you can see that the guy some sort of attitude. So um, that that was. Of course, you see the technical aspect, but looking at it in the biblical context, and then also um, looking at um, the side of the believer, you have to in this God. You just have to matter what. You just have to trust. Well, before I let you go, um, it's, it's indeed a privilege. Um, you are the technical director of Harmonious Choral. Looking back, seven years, Elijah. Now, what, what was the last oratorio? I think Joseph and his brethren. How has the growth been like? How has the growth, the transition from Elijah 2013 and Joseph and his brethren? The seven years. Oh, uh, I, 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 I tell you, well, we have been blessed. I mean, to have I mean, wonderful singers. The transition is so great. Uh, um, really changed our lives. Um, the singing has been awesome. Paul, uh, he believed in um, this project we are doing. Our boss is raising an army um, of, of great singers for the Lord. Okay, ministers for the Lord. And and really, if uh, the you can see the quality is now so great. The quality is just amazing. Wonderful singers within our ranks, and, and the choir is just blessed to have. The choir is indeed blessed. Imano. Ah, 
Elijah, so why did you <laughs> run away from Jezebel? <laughs> That's the only question I'm asking. And I want to find out what's the threat real to you. Um, Elijah, Elijah, he, he look, he was a man. Okay, yeah. he was a man. He he believed in God for everything. But I, I tell you, he is a man, and and he had. And hey, if you have Jezebel time staying, <laughs> uh, if tomorrow by this time, um, <laughs> um, I don't have your hair, that Charlie, <laughs> it's serious. Somebody threatening your life. It, yeah. it, it's serious. You just have to run away. <laughs> Very much understandable. So, like I was, I was sharing with um, our audience that uh, before you joined in, the threat of Jezebel was real. It happened to John the Baptist because he walked in the spirit of Elijah. The same spirit that um, was trying to kill Elijah was the one that got his head <coughs> on the plate. But we said a God who would always come through for us because we've heard um, yeah. Jesus saying put um, to music words like "Be not afraid," said God, the Lord. And hey, it is going to go. So, thank you so much, Kennedy for joining us and uh, people don't know that I call you Minia. So Minia okay. and you also respond Minia. Thank you so much for joining. We will meet um, this week. Uh, and says very early in the week we are going to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> we are waiting for that. <laughs> and thanks so much for having me. Thanks so much for having me team. Thank, thank you for God joining us you. Kennedy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much Amanda and Ima. Bye bye. Bye. Alright so let's just take well, a um, from where we stopped to have the call from Kennedy. Enjoy this worship. We'll be right back.
It has been amazing so far from the studios of Divine Media HD. This is Weekend Worship with the Amunos Choral. My name is Osain Yakut Emmanuel, Public Relations Director of the Amunos Choral. I'm here with the beautiful Amanda Efra Broca. So Amanda, quickly, let's go read some comments um, from a wonderful audience on Facebook and then you took the YouTube as usual. Right. Maria, it was this powerful music that suits the soul. Thank you so much, Maria. Stephanie Ngwetia mm -hmm. says, Can I have the number of James Varikama? So go to the Facebook page of James Varikama. I believe his number is there. You can pick it up. Or kindly send him an email, amak at gmail.com. A R M A A H K at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Nisi Brown says, Jehovah Nisi has spoken. Yes, Ebefa. God has spoken Onyame Akasa Ebefa. Kiesi Shadrach Esiru Labi. Yes, Papa Ria do they do wonders. God, you all, you did. Good. Good, you all. I believe that's what I was trying to do, right? And Maduka Ujuku says, God bless this choir for me. Thank you so much. God also bless you for us, Maduka. Give to Lami Simengo says, Ebefa. Give to once again says, Good afternoon, Amanda Emmanuel. A very good afternoon to you, Gifty, and your husband, um, Joshua, right? Yeah. Yes, 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 your husband. Uncle Mingo. Yes. <laughs> um, Kwame Sam says, watching from Tamale, and God bless you guys. Thank you so much, Kwame Sam. Joyce Kome says, Unyame Akasa. Ozioma Lawrence, Amanda, you look sweet. God bless you. It's Thank you. From you. Nigeria. Effie Makafui Chair says, Ebefa Ampa Onyame Akasam giving us thumbs up or to show. Nana Ifia Safwa says, Reverend PAC, I see you. Shat David says, Watching from Lagos, Nigeria. I love you guys. Keep it up. Thank you so much, David. Catherine Odum says, Onyame Akasa Ebefa. We are still keeping the faith. Thank you so much, Catherine. She also says, you guys are looking graceful. Thank you. Harriet Apia Anderson says, praise be to God for blessing us with these angelic voices on this glorious Sunday afternoon. You are also amazing. Joyce Asenso says, hallelujah. Western Eduardo says, watch you live. Okay, he also says, God bless you all in advance. Shalom. Ama Atta Pretty gives us the love emoji. Flores Cantor says, nice. Gideon Boama says, God bless you, HC. Joshua is here. Joshua Mengel, thanks be to God. Clement Zio, I really appreciate your song. So, Alexander Ezekiel Oyewale says, watching you from Abiekuta, Ogun State, Nigeria. Asabia Watri says, wow, giving us love emoji. And clap, 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 clap. Emmanuel Wisdom says, keep it up. I'm here from Liberia, my people, HC. This is Walmart K. Bobro. Oh, my true. Oh, Thank you so much for watching. Well, much. Yes. Seba, uh, bro. Yeah. Essen <laughs> Man Mafe Keller, watching you guys from South Africa. I love you guys. The messages are a lot, actually, Amanda. <clears throat> a lot. Uh, Mr. Hatchie Rice says, Wow, Lord, and I love this. I'm watching you live from Sakumulas by Kings for Rotterdam. Dr. Barney says, Watching from Zaragoza. Okay, that's in Spain. Hmm? Zaragoza, yes. And then. Van Bisco Ward says, I'm watching from United States of Akim Koda. Hey, Kubari Kadi has a bubble. Okay, Rita Gazalati says, watching you from Suamanda Dieso. Wow, wow. Erica Howard, beautiful choir solo, beautiful choir solo choir, Bravissimo from Amsterdam, beautiful conductor, bravo, thank you. And Hendrita Mongangani says thanks <coughs> for bringing the flames of heavenly fire into our homes. Let God's kingdom come. Hallelujah. Amen. A lot, a lot, a lot. Amanda, if I say I want to read everything, <laughs> I'm Harriet. As I said, the t shirt you are both modeling so beautiful. Can it be ordered? You saw the details. <laughs> Keep watching. <laughs> this, this we, we will give you more details about that, please. Yeah. Yes. Um, a lot, a lot, a lot. Your t shirt, this is from Mr. Archie Wright. He says, Your t shirt is nice. Can I order for my family? <laughs> Mr. Archie Wright, uh, you did. Uh, we, we, we understand. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so tell mommy to contact us. Uh, we'll do something for you. Mr. Archie is uh, watching us in the family all the way from 
the UK. Jeffrey Kofi, D Black says <laughs> he watching about Israel's lambes, not <clears throat> well, hello YouTube, my love and my family on YouTube. Um, Abna Debra says HC, just that. And HC also says hello, Abna. <laughs> Mama Nyako says Safo is smiling, her heart is warm. Safo Mpon is asking, how can I join? Well, my boss here will answer that in a minute. Elikem Nelson says, hallelujah, praise God. Hosanna in the highest is from Mercy. Philomena says, Amino. Francis is saying, wonderful. Darlington Onijechi says, great. Mr. Isaac Awachi says, amen. Amanda Setra says, your costume alone is on fire. Thank you very much. Bright Yako says, thank you very much. Divine love bless you all. Amen. Amanda Setra, my namesake, says, we give glory to God. Auntie Linda says, God bless you. Ehud Music says, glad to be here. We are glad you could join us too. Francis Aquabedi says, I am enjoying this. Nana Majobeti says, she's checking the choreography out. Well, our artistic director is Edward, Edward Opariado. Um, Obasi Okori says, indeed, all will be well. We give glory to God. Mami Nyakwa says, Safa says, shout out to the choreographer. Well, Eddie. <laughs> um, so Etonam says, c'est vraiment, and it's cool. Genevieve says, Menya Jidi. Menya Jidi na God is great. Amen. Jason says, thanks to the choir. I'm Jason from Liberia. Hello, Liberia. Um, Mary, Maria Iwa says, lovely to hear and be blessed with this music. Thank you for joining us. Mami Nyako says, please, this is your shirt, dear. If it goes on sale, I'll buy why. <laughs> Margaret Obey says, thanks indeed. All things shall be well in Jesus' name. And also, a belated happy birthday to you, Osai Nyako. May the Almighty God continue to bless you and protect you. And if we Amanda, in Jesus name. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. Thank you so much. Mr. Pogo says, Emma Pogo says, God bless you guys so much. John Yali says, you people make music very beautiful. I'm watching you people live. Matthew says, wonderful performance and well done to you all. It's a lot of messages. Clement says, oh, Matthew is watching all the way from South Lebanon. Thank you so much. Um, Clement K. Saki says, I'm enjoying you guys from Canada. The program is good for the quarantine people. <laughs> the presenters are doing a great job. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Um, Francis Amu says he loves that. And indeed, God will provide. Francis Amu is watching us from Texas in the United States of Trump land. Jonas Imano says, can you give me some hashtag Ebefa song today? Well, we did that earlier in the program. And... Udo asked what Ebefa means, and my boss asked explain. Bright says, thank you for the explanation. Ebefa, for sure it will happen. We just need a little patience. I agree with you. Um, Joseph is saying someone should translate in French. <laughs> hey, that one, Ebefa. <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin Fremese says, Emmanuel, are you an ordained minister of the gospel? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, Benny says, oh, Mr. Kennedy, I love this man so much. Just a sensation. Thank you on that. Ask Kennedy how he's able to memorize so much. Oh, maybe we'll ask him next week. And I will share with you. Comfort says, God bless you. Definitely a befa. Pamela Mensa says, angelic voices, soothing to the soul. Keep on shining. The messages are so many and they keep coming in also. Thank you very much for joining us live on YouTube. Every time I'm bringing your comments. Yes. We appreciate your comments and your feedback. That's very true. And um, as, as you know, this, this program is supposed to end at two, um, 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. from 2 to 4. But it looks like um, we just want to finish <laughs> with the lineup today. So, hey, uh, please bear with us. Um, there are still more songs coming your way. So, this is actually going to be um, the party moment where we leave you. But after this, the song will continue till we do the final piece. So, the next set of songs are Then Shall Your Light Shine Forth as the Sun in the heavenly father's realm they will take behold god has sent forth elijah the prophet but the lord from the north has raised one and this was a um, prophecy talking about jesus christ then we do all come everyone that tested this is an invitation that we are throwing out to you if you are here watching us from uh, youtube or facebook and you still don't know what it means to receive you still haven't experienced the love of God in your heart. God hasn't yet touched your life. You just want to say that Jesus come 
into my heart. This is a time that it, it will be so um, great to have Jesus in your heart. Come if you are thirsty, come if you are heaven lady. And please, as the message or the song is coming, open up your heart. Jesus Christ will come in. Believe with your heart, confess with your mouth, Jesus is the Lord, and you will be born again. That is the sole purpose of our ministry here on earth to point you to Jesus Christ, to accept Him as Lord and personal Savior. And then your light shall break forth as the light of the morning. Produced by Richmond Lacuzan Ali, the head of IT for the Harmonious Morale, coming to you live from the studios of Divine Media HD and myself, birthday boy, birthday boy. <laughs> thank you so much for all your prayers and all your messages um, that came in on the 15th of September. I'm just a young man of 24 years. <laughs> that's people believe it, so that's good. Um, that people believe that I'm 24 Well, we haven't said anything before I get into trouble, but I want to say thank you to Trouble Blinks for all my accessories throughout the program. You can follow them on Instagram and on Facebook, Trouble Blinks, or call them on 247 422328 And thank you to Marjen Ghana for our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful costume. M A R J E N M A R J E N Marjen Ghana. And they're on Instagram too. Yes, Marjen Ghana. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Don't go anywhere. More songs continue right after this. Have a great week. God loves you.
Gesellschaft, als mein 